Hi everyone. In this video, you are going to learn about the sequential logic circuit designing of SEMA circuitry. In the previous video, I have given you the examples of static SEMA circuit design and dynamic SEMA circuit design. I have already explained how to design the static SEMA circuit and what are the basic differences between static and dynamic SEMA circuits. Now, once the static circuits are completed, uh, static is nothing but combinational, where the complete output is depending upon present state of inputs okay and as well we can also say the static inputs are nothing but static CMOS or logic circuit is nothing but where the inputs are static dynamic means the inputs are continuously changing where the clock signal is involved that is nothing but dynamic signal coming to the combinational and sequential logic circuits combinational nothing but any type of uh, gates that depending upon any type of logic circuit that depends on the present state of inputs okay like a multiplexer decoder encoder and all logic gates all these are your combinational logic circuits now coming to sequential logic circuits where there exists a memory element memory is nothing but whenever i say memory you may have a uh, point in mind that that is a flip flop okay so a combinational circuit along with a flip flop we can call it as a sequential logic circuit design now we are going to see what is that sequential logic circuit design and how to design that sequential logic using a combination logic circuit this is the logic diagram see combinational logic circuit we have for this combination logic inputs are applied which are nothing but current inputs which are nothing but current inputs or we can say present inputs present inputs now suppose consider present input is applied at this input stage the output of this one is given as output parallelly the same output is also connected to the registers the register is nothing but a group of flip flop register is nothing but group of flip flops okay so the input is taken nothing but a d register we are using nothing but all the group of registers are made up of d type uh, flip flops the output of this d flip flop q that is again connected at the input of the combinational logic circuit so this is past output past output so a sequential logic circuit depends on current inputs and as well as past outputs the type of logic circuit is known as sequential logic circuit so in order to store this past output we are using a memory element if it is one bit we are using a flip flop one single bit flip flop if it is a multiple input then we go for the multiple input flip flop like nothing but register okay flip flop definitely should have a clock signal now if you see the timing waveforms for the sequential logic circuit which changes the state after some time this is known as setup time okay see here the clock is changing from 1 to 0 like this so that the previous data is continued see here previous data is continued now here the previous data is continued this is the output waveform and it is the input waveform this d indicates the input waveform q indicates the output waveform here the input is changing up to from here to here it is a constant one so the output is also looking like the input signal because the clock signal is in the disabled state as there is no clock even if the input changes there is no change in the output now coming to the change in the clock signal where it is changing from 0 to 1 it is changing from 0 to 1 at the same time the input is also changing from 0 to 1 like this that means the state is being changed at this particular point let us consider if there are four zeros then it becomes 0 0 0 1 okay at this particular instant the input signal is going to be incremented by a 1 logic 1 so 0 now becomes 0 0 0 1 from here until the change occurrence in the output change occurs in the output so we can call it as <laughs> setup time so t setup time and after the input is reached to a particular level the 
output will remain in the same time we can say that is the hold time okay i will tell these the definitions here you are having the first setup time setup time it is the time it is the time that the data inputs that the data inputs data input is nothing but d input must be valid before must be valid before the clock transition the clock transition that is the 0 to 1 trans transition for a pulse to edge trigger register 0 to 1 for pulse to edge trigger pulse to edge trigger flip flop so setup time is nothing but the time taken by the signal to change from 0 to 1 even after the before the clock transition now coming to hold time hold time which is shown here see hold time this hold time is defined as the time it is the time the data input must remain valid must remain valid after the clock edge after the clock edge that means even the clock signal changes from 1 to 0 or 0 to 1 whatever the data that it has in the setup time that will be continued for some duration that time is known as hold time okay so these are the timing metrics we can say timing metrics for this sequential logic circuit design now let us see the parameters that are related to time for the registers let it be propagation delay a propagation delay is also another important parameter that we need to calculate so propagation delay propagation delay data d is copied to q data d is copied to q after the worst case propagation delay after the worst case propagation delay nothing but t p t p propagation delay okay so data d is copied to q after the worst case propagation delay so minimum propagation delay you can say minimum propagation delay minimum clock period minimum propagation delay is indicated by tcd tcd so total clock period t is equal to tcq plus t p nothing but propagation delay plus t setup time t setup time so tcq tcq what do you mean by tcq if you go to figure you can see here this is tq from here to here okay so also td register plus tcd logic must be greater than or equal to t hold okay i will write here 
PCD register plus TCD logic is equal to or greater than or equal to T hold. T hold. So the minimum propagation delay of the register is TCD register. So we can say the minimum propagation delay the minimum prop propagation delay is what is the minimum propagation delay minimum propagation delay we have calculated it as tcd which is now we should say it as t greater than we can say write it here t should be greater than tcq plus tp plus tsu okay actually i said it is equal to but it should be greater than always to maintain correct timing parameters now coming to the latches and flip flop what is the difference between latch and flip flop flip flop is edge triggered latch is level triggered latch is a level triggered whereas flip flop is edge triggered flip flop is edge triggered so latch is level triggered here there are two types of latches one is positive latch another one is negative latch positive latch is nothing but whenever a positive cycle occurs in the level there the input output will be changed according to the input see here here output is stable in this duration and clock is zero now clock is in the logic one level whatever the input we have the same will be followed by the output see output follows input again when clock is equal to zero it is also zero again when clock equal to one the same output will be followed as we have in the case of input coming to the negative latch negative latch is nothing but the same case is coming over here also but here negative zero whenever zero is there logic zero the output will follow the input and during one there is no output this is the way how the latch works and flip flop how it is deferred from the latch okay Thank you.